Hi friends, today we are with one more question on riveting. So question is like this, draw to a full scale two orthographic waves of a triple riveted lap joint using rivets in zigzag arrangement. Take T is equal to 12 mm, D is equal to 20 mm, give all other necessary dimensions. So this is a question which is given and with the help of the two dimensions that is T and D we have to calculate other parameters. So the thickness of the plate is 12 mm which is given dia is 20 and on the basis of dia we can find out snap at dia which is 1.60 which is 32 snap head center this is d by 8 which is 2.5 and we have to round up it 3 margin that is 1.5 d which is 30 and pitch is 3d which is 60 back pitch is 2.2 d plus 6 which is 46 so these proportions are being used to draw the drawing so let's start drawing drawing so we'll start with drawing the plates first which are overlapping with each other with the dimensions which are being given that is 12 mm is the thickness of the plate so this is first plate and we have drawn the second now we will give the angle of calculus at the edges of the plates this is 10 degree is also called beveled edge now we can give the margin from this beveled edge which was we have already calculated that margin that was 30 and on the margin we can it's a center of the rivet first rivet so we can draw a dotted line up to the top view so we are doing this all in first angle projection now from there we can give the back pitch back pitch was 46 mm for the second rivet we have to show at least three rivets in three different rows now again we have to give the back pitch which is 46 again and we'll draw one more dotted line so these all dotted three dotted lines represent the center of the rivet so we'll brought it up to the top view so from the last one we can give the margin again for the topmost plate with an angle that is angle of calculus so 10 degree so extra lines can be rubbed off so students we can we should minimize the use of eraser now we can draw the another plate and show its continuity so this is show, this is continuity which we can show again we can rub off the extra portion and show there also the continuity of the plate now we can give the rivet dia on the each side of the dotted line the rivet dia was 20 so 10 10 mm on each side of the dotted line to show the three rivets in three different rows because it's a triple riveted joint now we can darken the rivet dia the first one we can darken and the because it is zigzag type so therefore the alternative one the second one will be shown this with the dotted lines so the rivet dia can be shown with the help of a dotted line because it cannot be seen that is the reason we give the dotted line to the middle one and this can be shown with the dark line now the next is to find the uh, center of the rivet snap head sorry so it is 3 mm up and 3 mm below from the above end now for the other also so we can give it the keeping the scale there and do it in a faster manner to other rivets also now we have to draw the snap head 
measuring on the scale, so radius. So keeping this as at the center, left one leg of the compass at the center and give a snap fed arc. So same can be repeated in the other places, keeping it on the center, which is 3 mm below the line. So that can be repeated in other places. So this way we have given the snap fed. Now what is left that is to rub off the extra lines and now we can give the hatching to the plates one on the other side to this plate and opposite on the other side to differentiate the two plates. Now we can give the dimensions also outside of the figure. It's a back pitch which we, we, are, we have to show. Now these on top view, to draw the top view we can extend these lines. First from the top plate. So it is a beveled edge there with the angle of 10 degrees. So it will be two lines, two dark lines which we can see in the top view. So, but initially draw with a light line, later we can draw them the darker. So next one, then same could be repeated with uh, the bottommost plate but it cannot be seen that therefore it has to be shown with two dotted lines. So we can show this with two dotted lines. So draw the next one also. The other end can be shown as dark but as of now we'll do it in a light line later we can do the lines darker now joining the two plates the other end of the plate so this represents the one plate now we have to show the topmost plate by joining this these two lines Now from the anywhere draw a dotted line to show the rivets in the top wave. So the intersectional point is the center of the rivet. So keeping the one leg there and drawing the rivet head. It should be darker. So now we, from there we can measure the pitch to draw the another row of another line of rivets, rivet heads. So from that point we can give a dotted line. So in the middle will come the another one because the zigzag pattern of riveting. So that zigzag pattern is exactly middle of the pitch that is half of the pitch. From there we have to measure the half of the pitch. So this is the center. There we will also draw a dotted line. Now this is our center. So same will be repeated. Now in the middle comes the dia of the rivet which is not seen. So therefore we have to draw a circle, dotted circle. That dotted circle represents the rivet dia. Same can be done to the other rivets also. So it is hidden basically the rivet dia. So that's why we show it with dotted circles. Now this is the sectional line very important my dear students. This is the line which we are cutting. Therefore we are drawing with the help of this line we are drawing this front sectional wave. So it's a sectional line which we have cut. So we have to show uh, arrows there. So it represents it's a sectional line, AA line. So it, it cuts it cuts only two rivets. This one. And we can see it's rivet head and this one. And this one is not visible. So now to show the other rivets, other plates, so we can connect to distinguish the two plates separately we can rub off the other 
lines which are not necessary these were the producing lines we can rub them off and now showing the breaks in the plates longer breaks so we can connect at least to the longer edge we can show two so this is again the continuity of the sheets these longer breaks represent continuity of the sheets now the rest of the lines can be made darker to di distinguish the plates these are the two darker lines which we need to show which is the topmost plate